Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoOvo. My name's Steph and today we're going to be looking at another short tutorial for OBS Studio or Streamlabs and that is masking. And more specifically, we're going to be looking at masking your webcams. You can enclose your webcam screen into any kind of weird and wonderful shape you want, whether that's a, a square with rounded corners or a circle or an oval or wh whatever shape you wanna you want to mask the camera into. But that's what we're going to be doing today. One thing I'd like to mention as well is everything is being shot on a Rapu webcam. There will be a review coming very, very shortly for this particular webcam because I absolutely love it and it works well for my streaming setup. But uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that as well. And with all that, let's just jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so what I usually do first, and the way I like to lay out my masks is I jump into OBS first. And then the reason I do that is because I need to find out the resolution of my webcam. So I've created a new scene called scene two. I'm then gonna add a video capture device and I already have an existing video capture device, which is my webcam. So I'm gonna add that to the scene. So there you go, the camera's actually been added to the scene. Now what I need to do is if I go to, uh, or right click, go to properties, and then I can, at the moment, I've got it set on a custom resolution of 1920 by 1080, because that's what my actual preview area is. So once I've done that and I've got that number here, the next step I need to do is jump into Photoshop. So once I'm in Photoshop, I need to go to create new, to create a new canvas, so I can start designing my shape. So. I know that my webcam is 1920 by 1080, so I am going to create a brand new canvas. Now what you also can do at this stage is change that to black there as your background color. Now what that means is anything that is white on, um, on the foreground will be masked. So that could be a mask if you want it to, but we're going to be sticking to shapes. So. I fancy sticking my webcam in a circle shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click and hold down my shift key, which gives me a perfect circle. And I'm gonna stretch that out roughly to about there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on my move tool and move this circle into the center of my frame, just to keep everything looking nice and neat. Now. To be, to be honest with you, you don't need a uh, you don't need a scene as big as if as this if you are doing um, a circle. For example, I can crop in this edge here, and it'll work just as well as a mask. So once you've got your mask, and you can tell this with the black background and white foreground, is I'm going to go to uh, File and then Save as a copy go to my desktop, change this to a, uh, it doesn't actually matter to be honest with you, a JPEG if I want to, and then I'm gonna call this webcam mask circle. And I'm gonna save that out, and I'm gonna save it as its maximum quality. So now it's done and you've got your mask on a foreground and background and you've saved it to wherever you wanna save it to on your computer, you're gonna need to jump back into OBS. Now to get the mask onto your actual source, you're going to need to target this particular source. And you can do this with any source you want whatsoever, whether it's a game screen, a webcam, a desktop screen, or whatever. It's completely up to you. Now, what you're going to need to do is you right click the source you want to put the mask on, go to filters. Down here under effects and filters, you've got a plus button. So once you click that, you need to go to image mask and blend. Click that choose a name or call it whatever you want. I'm only gonna be putting a mask on there today, so I don't need to change the name. Uh, and then you've got this drop down type. Now you need to use alpha mask color channel. If you've done it the way that I've done it, use the alpha mask color channel. So once you've clicked on that, once you've clicked browse, you can see that we've saved out our circle mask there. Once I open that, you can see now that my webcam is in an actual circle. And that's it, that is pretty much it. You can then resize that circle to wherever you want to place it. Now, usually people stream with uh, with their webcams down in the corner. What you could also do as well, once you have done the circle, of course, you can frame up, frame it a bit better so you can put yourself into, into center frame like so. And there you go, you've got one circle webcam 
that is saved in the bottom right hand side. And just to show you what this is actually going to look like while you're playing games, I know I'm playing uh, the Power Wash Simulator. This game has got me a little bit hooked because it's just such a simple game to play. But this is what it's going to look like when you are playing a game on uh, on a live stream. And you can use a mask however you want to use a mask. You can use them in weird and wonderful ways. I mean, for example, I could do this and I can put myself into the top left hand side of the actual game I'm playing and become part of the actual on screen HUD if I wanted to. And uh, and yeah, there is just almost an unlimited an unlimited possibility of what you can actually do with your camera while you are live streaming, uh, while you are using masks. It's a very, very, very nice and clean feature of OBS now, which is which is pretty awesome, and and it really heightens the quality of your of your live streams. And just to show you an example, and just to show you an example, if you're anything like me, then I have my webcam as um, like a rounded rectangle and a vertical placement for my webcam, which is mounted just up in front of me here, and uh, I can get a nice vertical view that way, and it means that not a lot of screen real estate is taken up by my webcam but you still have a webcam for uh, for your face and that's it that's how we stream over on twitch.tv forward slash technoovo shameless plug there so there you go there you have it that is just a very simple tutorial on how you can use masks to create nice uh, and and really fancy looking webcam overlays and webcam shapes for your live streams and just bringing a little bit more uh, polish to your finished product rather than just having a standard boring rectangular webcam if you want your webcam that way if that's your style then then go for it but this is just to give you an idea of what's possible um, with with OBS and masking now. So thank you very much for checking out my video on how to mask your webcam on OBS Studio. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button, subscribe to keep up with our latest tech and gaming videos and also tutorial videos, which I have said many times in the past that I would love to do more of as they're nice, simple, easy to make videos that brings education to people on, on YouTube that are interested in uh, live streaming and how to make their live streams uh, like a better quality uh, but yeah I really enjoy making them so please stay tuned for more tutorials coming in the future which they definitely will um, because yeah it's great it's great fun doing these videos uh, also we do stream over on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash technoovo we do stream on a Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday um, during the week from 8.30 p.m. onwards, UK time that is. So uh, if you do have any questions on this particular tutorial or if you just want to come and ask a general question about live streaming or OBS or something similar, then, uh, then yeah, send us a message over on Twitch when we're live and let's have a discussion over there. As I say, thanks very much for watching this video and we will see you soon.